Now it's time for your news break. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Derek Brizendine with the Daily Star Journal's Newsbreak. After a teeter-totter discussion with the Warrensburg City Council over the choice of builders, the Parks and Recreation Department received council approval to swing into action on building an inclusive playground at Cave Hollow Park. Dedicating the James S. Whitfield Leadership Center drew about 100 people, including national and state elected officials and University of Central Missouri leaders on Saturday. In sports, basketball returned to Warrensburg High School Tuesday night. The Warrensburg and Nob Noster boys and girls basketball teams participated in the Jamboree. Marshall, California, and Grand Valley also sent teams to participate. Warrensburg's Carly Russell signed Tuesday to play volleyball at Stonehill College after graduation. They're just a really good academic school and a really good athletic school. And I mean, I've always wanted to go out of state. And so when the opportunity presented itself, I kind of jumped on it. And it's really pretty and I love the campus. Also on Tuesday, Holden's Elise Evans signed to continue her education and running career at Missouri Southern State University. It was the last place like I was done visiting and then some uh, friends told me I should go visit there. And then I went and I loved it and then that was kind of the end of it. With the high school fall sports season now over in Johnson County, our fall sports reviews are underway. On Saturday, we looked back on the Warrensburg Lady Tigers golf season. That's all we have for you now. Find more news and feature stories in Thursday's Daily Star Journal. Thanks for watching.